getting started with the LG SDK for the Java ME platform. The agenda for this presentation is as follows. The LG SDK is a set of tools that makes it possible to create applications for LG mobile phones. It is based on the Mobile Information Device Profile 2.1. It also supports the Java Umbrella Standard JSRs and many optional packages, making it a widely capable development tool. The LG SDK has three main components. Toolbar automates many of the tasks involved in creating MIDP applications. The emulator is a simulated mobile phone. A collection of utilities provides other useful functionality, including a text messaging console and cryptographic utilities. The LG SDK supports the creation of MIDP applications with the following main features. You write the source code and the toolkit takes care of the rest. With the push of a button, the toolkit compiles the source code, pre-verifies the class files, and packages a midlet suite. You can run a midlet suite directly in the emulator or install it. A memory monitor, network monitor, and method profiler are provided to analyze the operation of your midlets. The toolkit contains tools for cryptographically signing midlet suites. If you plan to do actual development with the LG SDK, Java Standard Edition Development Kit V1.6 or later is needed. Check your current Java environment. You can download the latest version of JDK from the Sun Developer Network site. If you have not yet installed the LG SDK, you should download it from the LG Mobile Developer Network site and install it. The steps for the live demo are as follows. In this step, you create a new project. To create a new project, click New Project. An appropriate directory is supplied by default. Enter the project name. Leave the package name field empty. Enter the middle of class name. Click Create Project. The settings window opens with the API selection pane displayed so that you can set up the build environment for the project. Change any values necessary for your midlet in this window and click OK to continue. The toolbar console displays some messages telling you exactly where the source code resides and where to place resource files for this project. In this step, you create Java source files and resource files that are used by your application. Once a new project has been created, the main window displays the hierarchy of the open project. Within the hierarchy, you can open a file with an external application. If you right-click a file name and select Open, the file opens in your system as default editor such as Notepad. If you select Open with you can select the editor you want to use and the file opens in the editor. In this step, you build your source code. The LG SDK makes this part very easy. In the toolbar window, click the Build button. Assuming you saved your source file in the right place, the toolkit finds it and compiles it. Compilation errors are displayed in the toolbar console. If you have errors, go back and edit the source code to fix them. Once you've eliminated your errors, the toolbar console tells you the project was successfully built. After the error is fixed and the project settings are saved, the build runs to completion. Once the project builds successfully, you are ready to try it out in the emulator. Select the Devices tab. 
select the platform and network of the devices to run the project. Let's select the emulator skin for the KC910 Arena phone. Click the Run button. The emulator shows something like this. The LG SDK automates the task of packaging a midlet suite. The end result of packaging is two files, a midlet descriptor and a midlet suite jar. The descriptor is a small text file that contains information about the midlet suite. The jar file contains the class files and resources that make up the midlet suite. Devices can use the descriptor to learn about the application before downloading the entire jar. An important consideration in a memory lean, bandwidth starved wireless world. To package the current project, click the package button. The midlet suite descriptor and jar file are generated and placed in the selected project SBIN directory. To properly test a midlet suite, you should install it into the Toolkit S emulator or a real device. When you press the Run button in Toolbar, the Midlet Suite is not installed into the emulator. Instead, the emulator runs the Midlet classes directly. The emulator also has the capability of installing applications into its memory in a process that resembles how applications are transmitted and installed on real devices. To install the current project in the emulator, click the Run via OTA button. The emulator window opens, but instead of running your midlet classes directly, this time the emulator shows the welcome screen of its application management software. Select Install Applications and the Launch Soft Menu button. The emulator prompts you for the URL location of the application you want to install. In the demos provided the URL is already filled in for you. Choose Go To from the menu to begin the installation. Press OK. After a download, the emulator shows a list of the applications it finds at the URL. Choose one and click the Install Soft button. You might see a security confirmation message. Press Continue. You are asked if you want to launch the newly installed Midlet Suite. Click the Yes Soft button. Running an application on a real device depends heavily on the device itself. Consult your device documentation for information. Thank you.